Well, which would you consider the perfect V-Day gift? Some say roses, some say jewelry, some say cologne. Pretty traditional, right? Well, as one environmental organization tells us, the best gifts come from the depths of your heart and ocean. Here's Antoine Smith. They say diamonds are forever, but apparently the best treasures are beneath the sea. And no, we're not talking about pearls, but in fact, about corals. So it's a true sign of your eternal love to adopt a coral. Just right in time for Valentine's Day, it's all a part of Brief's effort to spread the love to apparently both the environment and your soulmate. We have an opportunity out at the Brief Coral Reef Sculpture Garden for people to put their name on some of the corals that were growing on the coral nursery trees and then outplant them out to the natural reef to restore the reefs in adjacent areas. While flowers, chocolates, and special trinkets are the usual gift of choice, waste from their packaging often ends up discarded to the environment. But adopting a reef, brief officials say, provides an opportunity to shop local and keep sustainability in mind as well. Things that we're concerned about is packaging and unnecessary plastic junk that just ends up in the landfill or gets washed into the ocean. Um, there's a lot of waste out there and we want to make sure that we can provide a really cool gift that has no waste. And if you wanted to visit your aptly named reef, Reef's Coral Garden is just a few miles offshore Clifton Heritage Park, a fitting spot for a gift which just may last a lifetime. Coral reefs are some of the oldest living structures on the planet. Uh, you can actually see them from space and some of the reefs that we have in the Bahamas are tens of thousands of years old. So this really is contributing to something that will hopefully last forever. Um, it's a sign of your undying love. So, diamonds or coral? Well, you decide.